All right, so uh, now I'm gonna give you a sneak peek inside our lab. I don't think there have been any cameras in, inside before, so I think you, you, you'll, you'll get a chance to see how we uh, do our uh, validation and bring up. So this is the main X-Gene uh, lab that we have here in our headquarters in Sunnyvale. And as you can see, it's a little chaotic, uh, but the reason is because we have lots of these stations and you'll see multiple boards where we have X-Gene 1, uh, that, that is being uh, uh, that is going through stress test and now we have X-Gene 2 that is also going through the stress test as we, we prepare to take X-Gene 2 to production. Uh, you will see some of our uh, uh, some of customer chassis and boards uh, and we do non-stop 24 hour, 24 7 uh, That's testing. That's the HP Moonshot testing around. Uh, and then uh, here you'll see these are uh, these are a whole bunch of dye. It's a little noisy, but you see that we're running real production operating systems and applications, right? So when we test our chips, we not only run uh, the testing on each in interface, but then we put in a real-world application, and in fact, we boot multiple operating systems, and we're actually running a whole bunch of operating systems here and applications. So here are a whole bunch of chips, and uh, you're able to just put them in the... Yeah. And uh, here you can see we're uh, testing the 10 gig uh, link. So there's uh, a lot of uh, interoperability that we do with external links uh, to make sure that it's all fine. Okay, we can have one in one DPC. Right, so one DPC. Yeah. Okay. So one DPC. And uh, then this is our. Uh, so these are some of the guys. So these are the guys who actually designed the CPU. You designed the CPU. So these are the guys who designed the CPU. Now they're actually testing the CPU. So we do a lot of, as I mentioned, stress testing. Uh, so we've got lots of systems here. We've got systems over here. Uh, so we do interoperability testing with lots of the memory. And the CPU guys are constantly you know, doing performance benchmarking, trying to improve the, uh, the, the processor. So every generation of CPU, we see about a 10 to 15% improvement in IPC. Uh, so uh, do you want to talk about quickly what you're So what are you doing right now? Uh, well, right now, the, these are systems. Uh, we're running some tests, benchmarks to evaluate the latest silicon and uh, yeah, just running more for configurations with so uh, different stimulus. Running a bunch of benchmarks right here. Yeah. So this is x 2. So this is our second generation silicon that's, uh, that, that, that we're really getting up for production. All right. Yep. What's going on around here? Uh, the here is some of the... Uh, So you know, so this is some of the, the, the test gigs where we can actually increase, we can heat up the processor. So yeah. we heat it up to a really high temperature, we can lower the temperature, we can increase the voltage. So we're really trying to break the silicon, right? We're trying to stress it uh, to make sure that we, when we actually give a chip to a customer, it, it has a very, very high quality. Yep, this is another system as you can see it's right, it's fully loaded with every all the four 10 gig ports up and running. We've got PCI Express link, we've got SATA, so we're doing a full system stress. So the amount of stress that we put on this chip, right, if you think about it, we've got lots of interfaces, the amount of, we try to stress it day in and day out. So we've got really software that we're trying to design to try and break it to find, to make sure that it's actually reliable on, right. under all operating systems. Uh, yeah, then this is more of the same. This is uh, one of our SATA jigs, so we're trying to stress all the SATA ports. Uh, you can see that these we've got multiple SATA ports and we're constantly reading and writing those SATA disks. Uh, again, a lot, lot of testing that goes on. Uh, again, you can see here that there's multiple of these uh, 10 gig ports. We're, 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 we're testing. So this is something that we run uh, day in and day out. How soon is X-Gene 2 in the into mass production? So X-Gene 2 is, is functional and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's very close to production. We're at the tail end of uh, making sure that we've uh, characterized every I.O., that we can actually make sure that we can put the specs of the I.O.s on the sheets. Uh, so I think what we publicly announced is that X-Gene 2 will be in production in the middle of next year. All right, so uh, this is it. This is the future of the AMP server being engineered right here. And, uh, uh, and what happens in the other areas in the building? Well, so uh, this is where we design it. So uh, downstairs we have the CPU design team, we have the SOC team up here, we've got marketing and sales. So it's pretty much uh, well contained uh, in this in this building. We also have design centers all over the world in multiple different sites. Uh, but this is really where the 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 chip comes comes and we do all the bring up and characterization here.